and welcome back to another video! So, I just want to talk about the Olympics quickly. Um, I... Uh, and if you want to know why I'm talking about this, it's because recently it's come out that um, there's been a lot of like vote buying to where the Olympics should be. And just as a, as a yeah, disclaimer right here, I'm not really a fan of watching sports. I so I really don't know that much about what um, Olympics and sports and all that, but I will tell you my experiences with them. Anyway, um, and it, uh, yeah, so I do like to play football. Um, I don't like to watch it, but I do like to play it, despite what my um, pale complexion may tell you. Um, but I do like to uh, play football. I'm quite good as a goalie. Um, and I played it rugby when I was younger, and I, uh, it wasn't proper. Like I, I played a little bit with my granddad, and I was, and I was able to like tackle and move him. So, yeah, I wasn't it. Uh, um, I, I wasn't better. I don't think. I don't know how old I would have been. How old would I have been? What eight years old, well then? Maybe about eight, more or less. I don't know. Anyway, um. So yeah, I do like to play football and all that, and um, I've played cricket before, yeah, eh, not a bad game to play, don't like to watch it, I don't like to watch any sports or, or snooker or any of that, I have played snooker and pool, not a big fan of playing those two though, um, but yeah, anyway, and uh, like I said, that because I don't really watch sports, I don't know that much about the Olympics itself, because I really don't just have that much interest in watching them. But I was, I do remember back in 2012 when the Olympics came to England, London more specifically. And it, uh, I remember, I remember it was, everybody was super proud that um, the Olympics was coming to London and England just in general like I remember McDonald's had the London 2012 of Olympics uh, um, glasses and everybody was just super proud that the Olympics were uh, coming here and that uh, um, yeah that's what well, I just remember I, I just remember it was you know one of those times where you could just like yeah, I'm English, and it, uh, um, the Olympics are, is coming back to England. Um, well, not back to England. Well, yeah, it's been a year before. You know what I mean. It's coming to England. Um, I, um, if you remember when everybody was like, football's coming home for the World Cup, but it never ca came home because we lost. Uh, funny, enough, funny enough, I was one of the few people who actually said, like, yeah, it's not gonna come home. I mean, there's um, a stereotype in comedy that England is bad at football. I mean, seriously. Um, I do think we did win one World Cup in my lifetime. I think I was actually at Butlins during that time. Anyway, um, and it, uh, that's kind of what it was. It was like, you know, everybody was like, football's coming home back then, and it was like, the Olympics is coming to London in 2012, and it, and it just it just had that air of everybody was excited for it. Even I, um, admittedly, got a bit excited for it, even though I don't really watch it. I was just like excited for it, and uh, um, when I heard that we might have possibly had to buy the votes, that I, I have to admit that does hurt a little bit because. You, I just remember back. Everybody was so excited, and he, all of that had to be paid for out of tax pay. You know, you know. Well, I, it was always going to be paid for out of tax pays money to sell, but you know, just to get the votes. And it's just like, while I may seem a bit egotistical here, we we really shouldn't have needed to like. I'm not saying that England is the best with like um, tourism and everything, but it's bleeding London, the heart of what used to be the British Empire, the biggest empire in all of history, the pit, the home of the people who fought back the Nazis against uh, all odds. 
Like seriously, the Australians really need, uh, um, you know, to pay money to get people to vote to come here. It's just like, you know, this this London itself has so much history, and it, uh, it's been around. It, England is. I don't think it's the oldest, but I, I think it's like at least one of the oldest countries as existing. I think it goes back all the way to the Stone Age, if I'm not wrong, where you have um, countries like America who pretty much just go back to a few hundred years ago. Um, you know, back when the um, pilgrims settled there, basically. Um, England, America doesn't have that much history. Now, I'm not saying that um, they shouldn't be, pr be proud of the history they do have, but I'm saying England is rich with culture and history, and so is France. For the um, poop we give France, they do have a, a cultured history, and Germany, despite all of their flaws as well. They have quite a good cultured history and it's just like you shouldn't really have to pay money to get people to decide to host the Olympics there in any of them. In America, France, Germany or England. Um, and it's good luck getting it in like places like Egypt or the Middle East. Um, and then you hear also about, um, instead of giving it to one of these countries who not only have an economy and economy to support hosting the Olympic Games, but also have uh, um, everything already there, so the um, the stadiums and the, the, the uh, gym equipment, we all all of those countries already have them in place. So well, I don't know about Germany, but I'm pretty sure France, England and America, I know America does, um, has the infrastructure to basically support it but then you then you just hear it's like for Rio they base they had to like demolish uh, basically an entire city and leave for thousands homeless just to build the stadium. It's just like why would you give it to a country that doesn't have the infrastructure to support hosting the Olympic Games in the first place. Now, I'm not saying that these poor countries shouldn't that poor countries shouldn't get the Olympic Games because it could majorly help them economy wise and uh, um, you know get make them a lot of money, but. They need some. They need the basics there first, so just like a stadium, gym equipment. They, they just need that there first before they should even be considered to host the Olympic Games. Um, uh, Greece. I don't know about Greece. Um, I, I'm just like, thing is just like. There are so many other countries. I'm not the best with geography and other countries and everything. I, I love my country and I love the history around my country and I know a lot about that, but I'm not too good with other countries unless their history is tightly linked with my country. Like I know about America, France and Germany a bit, but I know a lot about, you know, my, so, but that's mainly because those three countries are, you, are usually, it, well, in history they are usually tightly linked. I mean, our first king our first proper king was a french king um and uh, america the pilgrims there were english people who left england after the monarch got reinstituted after um oliver cromwell um died and his son was basically useless um so yeah, I know, I don't know about, you know, what countries do, do have the proper infrastructure to, to support hosting the Olympic Games, but uh, there's another one that was basically built for the Olympic Games and then torn down, and oh, talk, back back to the ones in Rio, they have basically been abandoned since the Olympic Games, it's just like, yeah, they've built all these, um, uprooted and they've made thousands of people homeless. 
just so they can use uh, that uh, build a stadium that was used for the Olympic Games and then was immediately abandoned after the Olympic Games. Where, say, it was hosted in London again. Nobody would have been up, have to been uh, uprooted and uh, made homeless because we already have everything there to support having the Olympic Games and uh, the economy wouldn't have taken a big hit because, um, well, again, most of the more expensive stuff is already taken care of. The uh, gym equipment, the buildings to host it all in, we already have all of that, so um, we wouldn't have to pay a lot for that. And then it's just like, okay, just, you know, repair it, make sure it's all in proper order. Uh, maybe that might take a few thousand and then just like, you know, spe you know, spend uh, um, some money on all the event, you know, on the opening and then the closing event and then all that and then, you know, where, like I said, with Rio, they had to build everything from scratch and that cost them a hell of a lot more money. And with countries doing stuff like this, they are breaking even if not losing money. So in the end, it's not even really worth it. And this is why we see some countries just like, we're not interested in ho hosting the Olympic Games. And it's just like, can you really blame them? Um, if they, if their economy can't support it, then they're probably just going to end up losing money. And I think there needs to be a new rule for when they decide what country hosts the Olympic Games. And it should be they need to have the infrastructure to host them. So basically, um, do they have the equipment? Do they have the stadiums? Do they already have all of this set up and in working condition? And have not just been left to what, like the Rio Stadium. Um, and then do they have the eco economic power? Do they have the money to host it? Do they have, uh, you know, that you know, they need Otherwise, this is just going to hit whatever country goes to the, whatever country the Olympic Games go to. And while it's not necessarily the Olympic Games' fault, and it's more of the fault of the government who's like, yeah, we want the Olympic Games, even though we can't, we don't really have the infrastructure and economy to support it, and it's probably just going to cost us more money than it's going to ever make us. And uh, yeah, but even uh, still, it's not really going to. It's not going to be that government that's going to take a lot of the. Uh, um, backlash from it is going to be the Olympic Games and they need to just like, okay, only countries like London, uh, cities like London, France and several country, uh, several cities in America that uh, ha already have all of this set up and other countries like them who already have everything set up and can support it, only they are eligible to be voted in and if uh, the country doesn't have the, you know, the elite have all have them then they can't be voted in at all and they can't you know there's just because like I said if this keeps on happening then more and more people will associate uh, the Olympic Games with negative negatively see you know see the Olympic Games negatively because those thousands of people who were uprooted for the Rio Games they all now look at the Olympic Games and just they just remind of when they were remo forcibly removed from their homes. And uh, if we keep on doing this, then more and more people are just going to keep on just looking at the Olympic Games and like associating it with something bad that happened. Um, so yeah, that's basically my opinion on the Olympic Games and my view of them from. Essentially now I'm of looking in because like I said I don't really watch sports I mainly just I like to play them but I don't really watch them at all Anyway, tell me what you think do you think I'm right in thinking there needs to be limitations on what countries can and cannot um, You know even be voted in for the Olympic Games um, You know I'd eligibly be able to each other should you know certain countries be limited in you know, el eligibility and all that. Anyway, if you get the idea, post down in the comment section. Oh, I know I have an outro to do that now. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe and uh, the ring and ding uh, that uh, notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.